I've painted a few places in Texas over the years and I've always had a great time. So my good friend Levi was heading to Austin, Texas to paint at the Looking Up Mural Fest. He asked me if I wanted to tag along and I said, giddy up, let's do it. As I'm on my way to Austin, I got a message from the organizers and they had a last minute wall available for me. Sick. Until I opened the picture and instantly had that feeling in my gut. <laughs> See, another artist had buffed this wall hot pink, but then moved to a different wall instead, leaving this behind for a sucker like me to take their place. I've been perfecting my color palette over the last few years and gained a familiarity with it to push my art in a specific direction, none of which involved pink. I stewed on it for a while, and then I decided, so instead of uh, painting over it, I figured, hey, I'm just gonna embrace it. I'm gonna do my first big pink mural. Challenge accepted. On the plane ride over, I was furiously sketching to come up with an idea. I love mythology and painting horses, and I figured a big old powerful pink pegasus prancing proudly past pedestrians would look pretty awesome. With my idea in place, my paint acquired, and my spirits high. There was nothing left to do but grab a hold and say, let's give it a shot. I arrived a few days later than the rest of the gang, so Levi let me borrow his lift for my first day to try and get the top section fleshed out right away. It was already 2 p.m. and I didn't have much time to start, so I needed to focus and I needed to paint, and paint fast. started by carving out the face and getting that into place, using the light above me and the window below me as reference. And this was gonna be an action-packed painting, so having a big flowing mane to balance out the rest was an important feature. And after getting the placement of the wing, I added a badass lady knight on top to add some more dynamic action to the piece. I started filling in the background with some shapes, but still kind of had no idea what I was doing with it. So I switched to the face to try and make some more sense of it and make something look good. At first you can tell I was using more reds than pinks, defaulting to what I know. Once I started adding some pinks, all the doubts and fears started creeping in. Man, I don't really know what I'm doing with this pink. Uh, I'm. I'm stressing out a little bit internally, but I'm gonna push through and I'm just gonna start putting colors on the wall. It doesn't matter, just, we're just gonna paint. I kept telling myself, it's all good. It doesn't matter. Didn't really help though. When I was getting my paints, I figured some purples would look nice next to the pinks give it a slightly different shade and make some areas differ from the rest. This lady knight was a quick paint job and after struggling with some of the horse head colors, this seemed like a breeze. And once that was done, nightfall came quickly and I had to wrap it up for the day. All right, so I got a little bit done in like the four hours I had today. Ugh, that pink, man. <laughs> Not into it, but I, I'm gonna keep going, you know? Just gotta push through it and make it happen. It's gonna be dope at the end, I think, so. Tomorrow is another day. I'm gonna have to use a ladder, so we're just gonna keep going. All right, it's day two and I'm ready to rock. And lately I've been trying to create some new healthy habits that boost my energy and health and keep me going. And I found the perfect way to do that with AG1. Trying to stay healthy while painting can be a challenge on its own. But now all I have to do is take one scoop of AG1 and mix it with water first thing in the morning before going out to paint. 
and I've got all my vitamins, minerals, probiotics, and energy to help me get through the day and be on top of my game. Not only has this boosted my gut and my foundational nutrition over the past few months, but it also gets me in the mindset first thing to win the day by starting with the win for my body. And speaking of mindset, with vitamins B6 and B12, magnesium, and other essential ingredients, it keeps me sharp and focused and helps reduce stress when I'm overworked. A small daily habit that's easy and good for me is the building block for more and more healthy habits on top of that. And you know, it tastes pretty good too. One scoop, one minute, one easy drink for better performance, better habits, and my best health with nine products in one. So if this sparks a fancy, click the link in my description to get one year supply of vitamin D3, K2, and five travel packs free with your first purchase. And get started on your healthy habits today. And thanks to AG1 for sponsoring this video. Let's go power through this pink Pegasus. All right, here we go, it's day two. No more lift. I'm gonna start working on the bottom stuff here until I can get a ladder to get up there to do more details on the top. Just gonna keep rocking and rolling. It's probably gonna be raining all day tomorrow, so I'm gonna try and get as much done as I can today. Let's rock the pink Pegasus, baby. This particular wall had some pretty ugly features on it. Painting around this stuff is super annoying and your design has to compensate for it. But that's how it goes with painting walls sometimes, or with anything. You just gotta roll with what you're given and do your best, no matter the circumstances. Although a nice smooth wall is always preferred. Sometimes it's cool to see what you can do with a janked up wall like this and test your abilities even when the wall is fighting against you. All right, the homie painting around the corner. Uh, let me borrow his little telescoping ladder here. But this works great. I love these kind of things. And uh, I'm gonna start banging out the chest of the horse and get those muscles in there and making it look really cool. We're filling in some space here to make it look, you know, rounded out a little bit. Let's do it. I really gotta muster up the uh, courage here and get past this everything looks like shit stage. It's always like a tipping point in the beginning and the middle where you kind of just like everything looks so ugly. You think you're terrible, the pink is throwing me off. But uh, you just keep pushing through and uh, just figure it out. And, and like, I, like I said yesterday, it doesn't matter. It's not that big a deal. We're gonna figure it out. I got, you know, a little bit of paint left. Ho hopefully I'll have enough to finish this thing. Let's just uh, get a li little loose. Let's loosen up a little bit. Stop being so tight about it. And uh, when I talk to the camera, I can hype myself up along with you guys. So that's what's happening right now. And uh, I'm gonna smash it. Let's go. I'm definitely used to painting in public by now, but sometimes it still gets in my head a little bit when you're not sure if your piece is working or not. And it's out in the open for everyone to see you struggling. But something about knowing that you guys are there in support on the other end of the screen, that makes me feel a little better. And the support of my wall mates as we're out there all day together, doing what we love. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Lightning McQueen over here. So <laughs> okay, working through it here. Now I'm gonna add some, uh, maybe some green, kind of alternating in between the wings here to give it some uh, extra flair and spice. And I can, I got some green left, so maybe, maybe we'll do that. Or maybe not. Does that look good? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, here we go. That looks like absolute garbage. Why did you do that? Hey, don't listen to him. That thing looks awesome when it's just the right amount to mix it up. Really? You're gonna listen to a guy who's got a permanent nightlight over his face? He's scared of the dark. This is a sacred angelic symbol of grace. Other than a dinky excuse for some baby horns. Please, I eat guys like you for dessert. Guys, please. I'm trying to concentrate. Uh, of course, sir. I'm here for moral support. You shouldn't have painted with these colors. It's all a mistake. Keep going, Kipto. The green is a nice contrast. It looks great. Don't overthink it. You still have time to start over, but that time is right now. No. It's time to push through and do this. Take control. Spread your wings. Don't fall for it. He's trying to trick you into false confidence. False confidence leads to real confidence. Now eat this. <laughs>
Okay, I think I finally made it over the hump. Feeling good about it. Let's flesh out these boxes while we're on a roll here. I figured adding more clouds as a way to work around them seemed like the best option. And it almost worked out in favor of the piece as it pushed the clouds forward in space and had the Pegasus coming out from behind them. Day two was winding down fast, so I hopped up on the ladder and gave the wings some more action as well as filled out some more of the background to make it all stand out. These wires are all covered up and I'm pretty sure this building is out of commission anyways, so don't worry. Still annoying to paint around though. For this I wanted to do like an eyeball in the corner of the wing. I quickly sketched something up there as the rain started to come in, but definitely still needed to tweak it a little bit more. But it would have to wait as nightfall approached and the weather stormed in. Alright, well it's been raining all day today, but it's now about 4 o'clock and the rain has finally stopped, so I'm gonna bang out a couple more hours of work on this thing and call it a wrap. So uh, let's tackle the rest of this wing, add some more flair, and make it pop. Let's go. I had quite the audience every day, right at 4 p.m as hundreds of these birds would hang out on these power lines like clockwork and sing their songs. I could always count on them being there and I tried my best to put on a good show for them. After some thought, I repainted this eyeball thing and found a new way to do it, which I was much happier with. And with all that, it was time for the final element. Okay, you know what the drill is. One last thing, we got our whites for the final little touch here. I'm gonna do a cool lasso whipping around the front here as the knight is holding on to this giant pegasus. Like we're mixing mythology with classic Texas lassos and stuff, you know, just having fun. So uh, let's lock that baby in right now. Fuck. Ugh. Ugh. Once the white hot lasso was set, the battle was won. And it was finally finished. Well, that's it, we did it. Thank you, Austin, and the Looking Up Mural Fest for having me. It was a blast. I did my first pink mural. And uh, it ain't too shabby, if I say so myself. I really like how this came out. It was a struggle to figure this out, but uh, in the end, we pushed through and we made it. You know, even if it's something simple as changing up your palette, it can be a little bit of a challenge, but uh, it's worth the hassle, it's worth the effort, and uh, you come out the other side a better, more refined artiste. So with that, I would like to say to you, make sure to step out of your comfort zone, you know, expand your boundaries, try something new, maybe you'll surprise yourself and uh, come up with something really badass that you wouldn't have done before, so there you go. If you like my work and want to support me, I got some awesome new stuff in the shop. Brand new t-shirts and hoodies just dropped and those are going quick, so make sure to get those while they're still in stock. Also, I got prints and sticker packs and all sorts of other stuff to spark your fancy. Big shout out to my Patreon members. Thank you so much, you guys are the best. Bunch of cool new stuff on the way, so I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.